Hi, welcome back, and thanks so much for checking out my uh, my YouTube channel and my site. So, uh, if you remember from the last video, this was kind of the screen that we ended up at, where I'd gone through and marked uh, this audio file with the correct uh, measure markings and beat markings. I'm actually going to play that for you a little bit right now. <laughs> So you can kind of see as this playhead passes over audio that this is actually lining up pretty well. It's not exact by any means, but it's lining up pretty well with the correct where where each measure happens and where each beat happens in the music. So uh, it's close enough for our purposes right now. And I'm doing, right now I'm zooming in and out, and the way I'm doing that is I'm hitting command, uh, command left arrow to zoom out like this and command right arrow to zoom in on a PC that's control left arrow or control right arrow on a on a Mac it's command or, or open apple well I guess actually looking at the keyboard I guess they got rid of the open apple but uh, anyway so I'm all the way zoomed out and once again I'm going to highlight this entire region and do markers compute tempo and it's telling me that the average tempo over uh, this uh, this area is 198.2 beats per minute. So I'm just going to remember that, that it's 198. Uh, I don't really need to worry about the point 0.2. And now I'm going to go into Sibelius. So this is the screen that Sibelius comes up with right when you start it. And like I said, I don't really want this to be a method. This is, if anything, it's more of a method on how to use transcribe because I think transcribe is a very effective tool. Sibelius is absolutely an effective tool and I really do like Sibelius but you know if you're a finale person or if you like writing stuff down by hand then that's that's fine too. Uh, you know I I like Sibelius and I'm going to give a, a few pointers on how to use Sibelius. So uh, anyway this is the screen that pops up when you uh, when you start Sibelius and we are going to be starting a new score click OK. Brings me to this uh, sheet, and I know that the lead sheet, normally I, I you kind of use the lead sheet as my template for everything. I just, you know, they've got all these different templates built in for big band and orchestra and stuff like that. Generally, whatever I'm writing, I tend to use the lead sheet, uh, the, the uh, lead sheet template, and I just go into change instruments. And, uh, Right now, the lead sheet, as it as it you know comes up, uh, you know as the lead sheet starts out in the template, just having an alto saxophone staff in the score, and that's all we need because we are doing what we're doing here. It's a monophonic transcription. It's just a, a one line tran, uh, transcription. It's not like we're trying to uh, write out you know what the bass part is doing too or what the piano is doing. All we're trying to pick out is one line. What the what the alto has so. All we need is alto in there, so I'll click OK. Move on to the next screen. I'm going, not going to change the house style. Aha, uh -huh. and here we go. We've got our, uh, this is kind of our time signature and tempo screen. The What we're transcribing is going to be in 4-4. Four, four. We don't have to, this, we don't need an upbeat bar for this. If I, if I did, I'd check that and select how long I wanted an upbeat bar for. Down here for tempo text, I'm just going to type in swing. And for metronome mark, I'm going to click that checkbox there to tell it to put in a metronome mark for me. And now this is where our 198 comes in. So I'm going to tell it that our quarter note is going to equal 198 beats per minute. Okay, so that is our time signature and tempo. Moving on. And now I already kind of found this out. And actually, you know what, I'll, I'll go ahead and do it again. But this piece is in F minor, and I guess I'll show you how I kind of know that and just by listening to the beginning so so you can kind of tell that you know the tonic centers around f f minor and uh, you know the minor is because it's minor third is in there you can kind of tell that that minor third fits, I guess. And now let's move on to the last couple of measures of it. So this is the last couple of measures of the head, and we can tell, tell that they end on F. Okay, so we can kind of tell that 
uh, that F is is kind of our tonal center, and it's F minor because we have this minor third in there. So for key signature, I'm going to select minor keys and tell it to go with F minor. Okay, so then that's it for key signature. Click next, and now for title, you can name these any way you want. I'm going to name. I normally name my uh, transcriptions uh, Cannonball. Adderley's solo on work song. Uh, and then under composer, that's where I put transcribed by Mark Halberstadt. Then copyright 2010. So this is how normally how I uh, I kind of outline my uh, my transcriptions a little bit. Uh, I'll put in, I can do a subtitle option once I'm actually into the score. And then that is where I'll kind of put in the, the YouTube address of where I actually got this recording, where this recording comes from. Uh, you know, a bit more inf information rather than just the title of the song up here, rather than just saying it's from work song. And there could be, you know, a whole bunch of, there, you know, there are a whole bunch of different Cannonball recordings and Cannonball solos they had over work songs. So I'm I'm going to do a subtitle later to tell you where I'm where which one specifically I'm working with. But uh, anyway, we're pretty much done with this title page. So I'm going to click finish, finish. There it goes. And now it's going to bring up. So this is get rid of the keyboard. This is the uh, I guess the thing where we're going to be working on this. I'm actually going to space out the title a bit more and then here is where actually you know what I'm going to open up Firefox and just find that recording real quick uh, Cannonball Adderley work song and this was yeah this is it this is the correct version, so I'm going to copy just this URL address, copy, hide that, and then do create, text, subtitle, click there, and just paste it in. And that doesn't look great, I guess, but, but you know, it works, and, you know, if you had to go and find this, you could. So anyway, that's uh, that's how I'm going to title this, and now I'm just going to save this into my directory of of transcriptions, transcriptions, Cannonball Adderley, new folder. This is how I organize my my transcriptions. I organize them by artist. So work song. So as you can see, I've got all these different folders of different artists I've transcribed stuff from, and in my Cannonball Adderley folder, that's where I put have all of the folders of the different tunes of his that I've transcribed. So this is a new one. So I'm creating work song folder there. And then this is where I just say work song and I'll put in the in parentheses I'll say that this is the YouTube version or the version I found on YouTube. So and then we just save it and we're done with with that. And the last thing I'm going to do then this is I'm just going to kind of arrange my windows a little bit better so I'm able to work on this a bit more a bit more easily. Uh, so this is, I guess, a little... This might get into a bit more Sibelius-specific stuff, but uh, I'm going to click this button up here because right now this is a concert part, and I want to write this out uh, transposing on the fly. So I want to write this out as an alto player would write it out. So. I'm going to click on this, so that's going to transpose my score. So now we're looking at it as an alto player would would look at it. And then the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on this uh, panorama view that uh, that Sibelius has. So I can so I, I'm not really constrained by pages. I can just kind of work work more or less a little bit more fluently. So anyway, uh, at this point, I'm I'm totally set up to do the transcription. And really, for the next uh, bunch of videos, I'm just really going to be doing the transcription and seeing how long it takes. So you can, you know, 
uh, you know, you absolutely can watch the video, if, watch those videos if you want, or, you know, I'm just going to call these, you know, working it out or transcribing one through 10 or however long it takes me. But uh, anyway, I'm just going to be transcribing this for the next bunch of videos. I'm kind of dropping a few Sibelius hits, but hints, but mostly it's just going to be me working on this. So anyway, hopefully I'll see you in the next video.